Does that, does that sound like a spaceship? <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> Hi, guys. <sighs> yes, Nick's a bit of a lunatic. We've just woken up again. We've had the most <laughs> epic nap. Uh, and we're woefully un unprepared. Woefully unprepared. That was that was meant to be like a spaceship coming to land. Because yeah. this, this little bad boy has sold today. You Mel can explain that in a second. Mel thinks it looks like something else. <laughs> is it phallic, Mel? Is it? Do you think so? A little bit. Um, yeah, welcome to our Sunday hangout. Uh, if you're a regular, welcome back. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you're new here, uh, I'm Nick and this is my wife. Andrea. And uh, we are resellers. We buy and sell whatever we can get our hands on. And we share it on YouTube. So, yeah, welcome. We're going to start, I think, by talking about this. We'll say a few hellos in the side chat. Um, there is, if you're watching this live, you can comment and say hello in the side chat if you're logged in on the YouTube account. Um, so let's pop in and say hello. We've got 110 people in already. I'm just going to scroll back. Do you want to say a few hellos? Yeah, Lucy T is in. Hi, Lucy. Um, Laura Wynn, uh, Stace Panther, the Norfolk reseller. Robin A. Peter Ray, um, Super Duper and Ollie. <laughs> um, yeah, who's that? I don't know. Oh, that's a new name to me. I Maria don't know. Clark, Karin. Hi, Karin. Um, Maria, have I already said that? No, Stephen Bennett, um, Adrian, and Ben. So, hi, everyone. Hello. Thanks there are lots us. more, but it. Um... Yeah, that's all I can see at the moment. Oh, well, is it because I haven't oh, scrolled? Lex. Lex is in and Charlie. Hi there, Lex. So, who was that saying? Uh, Maria said, was anybody else's boot sale a complete washout today with rain? Oh, we got wet. We didn't expect much today. So I didn't actually take a great deal of money, which became an issue. Um, and we didn't expect a great deal. I certainly didn't. We, no. got, we got to the first one and it started raining. Yeah, it was raining, well, well before we got there, wasn't it? Yeah um we did vlog and i think there's a bit in the car where we sat there and it's proper raining mm. but we came home after an early one um well no, we went straight to one in hitchin yeah the annoying thing was though i got up and i looked at the weather i looked at the weather yesterday and it said it was 78 percent chance of rain i said to nick it was 78 percent chance of rain we, we groaned went back to sleep and, and then i don't <laughs> actually think it rained because it looked quite dry when we woke up. Yeah. And then today I looked at it and it was that dry, no rain, like 8% chance of rain or something. <laughs> we went out and got absolutely drenched. Yeah. So the first one wasn't great. We didn't pick up uh, a great deal. But we did what Andrea convinced me by using the BBC weather app that back in Hitchin, where we come from, <laughs> it was dry. So luckily and thankfully, because I would have just gone home and, and written it off and gone back to bed by about whatever it was, half seven, eight o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. But we went to Hitchin and we found probably the best pickup of the day, which I will share with you in a bit. These bad boys and all of these bad boys. Um, and yeah, because the Hitchin one is is covered. So we thought we'll go, we'll, we'll stick with it. Yeah, which wasn't too bad, but it was cold, wasn't it? It was just cold, cold and cold wet and, and horrible. And but we did find an epic pickup. Then we came home and had some breakfast and went out to a later one, one quite a way away from here. But yeah, it, where was, it, wasn't it was raining. great. <laughs> anyway let me scroll to the end of the chat whilst i'll hold my giant phallic object <laughs> oh there's a lot of chat going on i'm gonna have to whiz past hopefully i'm not missing anything important I think mostly people are saying hello to each other okay let me catch up oh elaine says we must be watching brazil no we won't is there football on now? Oh, I'm going to have to do, catch up the highlights. I've been loving yeah. the, the World Cup so far. We went to have a nap, didn't we? And then suddenly I set my alarm, but I think I slept through it. And then I woke you up and I was like, about 25 past seven. <laughs> they really need to get up. <laughs> okay. Wow, there's a lot of chat. I can't even get to the end. Is that the end? That must be the end. Okay. Yeah, lots of people talking about um, boot sales. Peter said it was sunny in Epsom all day. You were lucky then. Ye oldie Olympic torch. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was me landing it in the intro as, as like some weird spacecraft. Yeah, but it does look like a, 
I still it looks think it's like, like a giant a, wine glass, actually. Yeah. It does look a little bit it's like a goblet. Yeah. So, yeah. do you want to explain and, and what happened Karen, to this? <laughs> Karen's just come in and says, "Why are you holding that plant stand?" Well, Karen, because today it sold for eighty pounds. <laughs> so I'm Andrea very excited was about it. over the moon with that. That was a proper plucker price out of the air moment, and somebody's bought it. No. Well, it what? is. It's very unique. I think I haven't seen anything <laughs> like it. So. And yeah. that was in a vlog, wasn't it? We made a vlog very similar to the one we made today a couple yeah, of weeks back. Yeah, in our car boot one. And you paid four? Four pounds. Yeah. So, yeah, pleased with that. We've had a few, a couple of Touchwood really good days of sales uh, on both Amazon and eBay. It's just mm. suddenly everything kicked off for us, which was great. Yeah. So, but today we're going to um, share goodies. Um, we picked up a fair amount of stuff today uh, and some quite interesting stuff. Peter come and says, who pays £80 for a wicker doodle? Well, somebody did, and I'm very pleased they did. <laughs> yeah, our favourite customer of the week yes. pays £80 for one of those. Yes. That's who. Um, do um, you want the to... only thing is, I only charged six ninety nine postage, didn't I? I think it might end up being well, we're gonna... more. It will be a little bit I more I didn't think about this, the length of it. Um, but anyway, I think I'm out not... of £80, it doesn't matter if it comes into the profit a bit. Yeah, so, I don't know. So, and we, I'll probably add signed for etc. on that, yeah. some sort of insurance because that's a big chunk so, of cash. So yeah, I mean anyway. that's a, that's a learning curve. The have we frozen up? No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's a a learning curve, really, is the postage on it. For you, yeah, I think yeah. we, yeah. Because with the chair, it was a similar thing. We reckon you're going to do a Franken box. Yep. For the chair. To get it down so that we can send it by Hermes. But, um, when you looked at it, you were like, "Oh, I don't know if that will go by Hermes." And well, they have, as, on... as you'll all be aware, they have size a maximum size. That's what I put on the listing. Yeah. And also on Instagram, I did say to people, um, "I might film Nick um, packaging up that chair." You're not too keen on that idea. It's just going to be a palaver. It's, yeah. uh, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> anyway. Um, Karen is in says quite a yeah, great weekend here, but normally I have one or two returns a month and I've had five this weekend. Oh no, we've had a couple, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. One and car look, part that's annoying, that's annoying that because really annoying. they bought the wrong thing. We've sent them the thing they ordered. I'm pretty sure they've bought the wrong thing and want to return it because we sent them the wrong part, but we've sent them the part they ordered. It's mm. that old chestnut and yeah. more cycle shorts are coming back, aren't they? Yeah, they come back quite regularly and then we send them out again to the next buy yeah yeah no i'm sorry to hear that karen oh, um karen says she's got eight watches and a modern laura ashley dress sending you positive reseller vibes karen hopefully that will sell for you karen went on to say uh i've had five this weekend returns that is one completely my fault wrong size in listing oh that's annoying so just refunded and told them not to worry about sending back yeah, yeah. If it's not a high value item, that's sometimes the best way to proceed. We might end up doing that with that filter. I don't know. Well, no, that's just annoyed me because it's not, I, know, I don't it think it's annoyed. our fault. It's annoyed me too. Okay, so Christopus the Gamer, Nick looking cool in his wrapper, looking like a cool wrapper in his cap. This is just to cover up the state of my hair because I've literally just had like a massive nap and oh, my hair's all over the place. <laughs> That's the one that offends um, Krillin, isn't it? Krillin, yeah, wasn't impressed <laughs> with this. Um, um, oh, there's Mel. Did yeah, you say I'm hi Mel. to Mel before? I, no, Got I didn't. She's just popped in, actually. Okay, so... If you didn't see the beginning, you'll have to go back and watch <laughs> your, your silly beginning. Uh, where do we begin? Should we begin with board games? Because... They're, they're very interesting board I, games. I time, usually actually. find board games and I don't really share them because it's stuff I've shared in the past. It's stuff everybody kind of picks up and they're not, A, they're not generally great money and B, they're not that interesting. But some of these are both of those. So let's have a rummage, shall we? Yeah. Um, let's do these two first because yeah. they are rather nice. And I've just noticed that Sib's in the chat and welcome back to Instagram, Sib. It's nice to see you back. Yeah, you shared a picture showing... I didn't share it, I showed you. You, sh you showed, showed you. me. No, oh, you shared it with me. Oh, yes. But it sounds, um, it sounds like I shared it like on social media. No, showing what, what Siv actually looks like. Yeah, it's nice was, to see what you look like, fascinating, actually. yeah. So today, we, like I said, I didn't go and get more money out in between the first and third boot sales. I wasn't expecting a great deal at the third one 
because it was really overcast. We just took a chance, mm. didn't we, and, and took a fair drive out to yeah. this third one. But I should have got more money out because we ended up spending every penny we had to buy a bundle of board games, which was the last purchase. Well, it had to be because it was literally every last penny we had. Um, I got this woman down to £45 for all the board games I'm going to show you. And then we scraped together a fraction over £40, didn't we? Mm. And luckily, she was still okay with it and let me take everything. So it included this, which is a lovely, huge, heavy board game called Scythe, um, which I think currently you can get for about £50 on Amazon new. Uh, but secondhand still, um, I'm going to probably get 40 for that. It is immaculate. Is it worth me showing it? It's not really worth me opening it up, is it? But it's um, fantastic. And importantly, it has its... That. Sorry, I was reading the chat. Uh, <laughs> little add-on pack, which is... So there's two add-on packs to this game. This is the Invaders from Afar. If I put them together, it's probably, I don't know, 60, something like that. Um, so that more than covers our investment yeah and they i've never seen that before they are just so nice yeah i think it was a startup like a, a crowdfunded one i might be wrong don't quote me on that so that's size which weighs a ton yeah. um could, you, put could it. you stack it down that side i'm trying and i'll show some of these oh, others actually, i don't know so i can't it's too heavy to do that way <laughs> stick it under there look. oh okay and part of the same deal so those should put us in clear profit. Another interesting one, this is Ogre, which is actually a tanks game, which is interesting. The classic game of future tank warfare. So it's kind of echoes of the game that I've been working on. And we'll, and we'll probably see, never see the light of day. Well, I hope so, so. I hope well, that's that. Um, I um, did briefly look up some... I don't think this is worth a great deal. I was distracted uh, by the chat because I don't know if Karen's been having issues with... I don't know, maybe buyers or something. I'll have to scroll back and have a look. Okay. Um, yeah, so Ogre, another interesting board game, one you won't see very often. I'm going to shoot for about 25 on that one. This is an interesting little one. It doesn't look much. Nuclear War, which is a card game. Um, I'm going to shoot for about 20 on that. Oh, that's cool. This is one that I might have a play at, actually, before we sell it. I might have a look at this one as well and see how that works, considering it's similar to what I've been designing for donkey's years. Uh, and another interesting one. Sorry if you're not interested in board games. I love them, and you don't find these sort of, you know, rarer, harder to find ones very mm. often. Uh, this is Sea Kings, which I don't really know on value. I've tentatively put sort of 15 on that. Don't know. So I think uh, about 120 I should get back. Oh, Phoebe's in the chat. Hi, Phoebe. Gross on and those. She says they all look in lovely condition. They are, aren't they? They've been well looked after. You'll find this with the more expensive, obscure board games that people go out of their way to find and play. You know, they tend to keep them immaculate. Yeah, they do. Um, so, yeah, I was really pleased with those. And um, it was funny, we had a conversation with the woman and she was she said when she did just a deal and she let us off about five pounds because we couldn't scrape together enough money because um, I made the schoolboy error of not getting enough money out this morning, despite the weather being awful. Um, she was saying, I'm so glad that they're going to somebody who's really into board games because we had quite a chat about it because genuinely I am into board games. But. I'm not keeping these. I may have a play on a couple, but I'm not keeping them. And it felt a bit... No, you feel a bit it sometimes feels a bit odd, ha kind of lying and making stuff up. But then again, I said to you, I didn't say a word if that wasn't true. Yeah. Really? I know. Anyway. But we've all been there. We all, we all know what it's like. It's like you can either tell somebody that you know, you're going to sell it on and you might get something negative back or they might say, I'm not selling them to you then um or you just sort of you, you know you're not going to probably not going to see them again so you just end up having friendly conversation yeah so. yeah only only once or twice in the whole time we've been doing it have we had people refuse to sell us because sell to us mm -hmm. because we're resellers and like andrea was saying we've all done it where 
sometimes they ask you a question like, oh, are these for your kids? Or are you into your board yeah. games or whatever? And you don't want to you don't want it to become awkward and say no I just want to make money on them because it just makes the whole conversation yeah. really awkward so you just throw something out like oh yeah yeah I, I've got six kids and they're all different ages or something when you're buying clothes and like Sue says they, they will still go to someone who loves board games so I know in a way it's like you're just being the middleman so somebody will have it eventually the end user will be somebody that really enjoys it yes and you're just helping that person to get it because they can't be at that boot sale that day exactly yeah. andrew's just said uh andrew is falling on a breeze just been rooting about in my greenhouse on the allotment and found a set of what does it say jaj pyrex mixing bowls mm -hmm. okay interesting um hitman uk i normally have to watch you on the phone but as it's father's day i am allowed to watch you on the big tv oh <laughs> we feel honored we're on the big TV oh, in Hitman's oh, house. <laughs> um, he goes on to say, can you give a shout out to my girls, Shannon, Chloe and Summer for giving me a great Father's Day? Oh, oh. hello, Shannon, Chloe and Summer. Yeah, hello. <laughs> on the big telly, look at us. Look. <laughs> that's very scary. What, being on a big telly? Yeah, especially as I still feel quite sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't let my brain process the thought that we're actually being watched by loads of people oh, and no, we're on I tellies and stuff. Can't can't go there. All, but yeah, you know, self-conscious. Hope, hope you've had a great Father's Day. Um, I was taken out to the pub by Ellen and Andrea earlier. We had a meal, and it was nice because my sister Jo and her two little four-year-old twins and Nina, who is now two, and Darren turned up. Oh well, yeah, Darren did turn up a bit later. On, yeah, didn't and he? Darren was there. So <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah. Um. Okay. Hi, Lainey. Adrian, Adrian says, nothing wrong with board games. You can make some good money. Yeah, just be selective. Do your research. That's all I'll say, because not all board games were created equal. Some are a waste of time. Karen says, Andrea, you're on my 55-inch TV. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> we're, we're huge oh. at Karen's. <laughs> Oh, we people... should have put a bit more makeup on now. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm watching you on the toilet. See, I didn't need to know that, Lee. <laughs> I feel a bit odd about that. Lex only watches Carla on the big telly. <laughs> oh, hi, Siv K. Um, did your connect arrive? I did order a connect. Did I order a connect from you? <laughs> yes, it did arrive. Yeah, like, I haven't yeah, had a chance to open, open it. I see it's this it one. Live on, um, yeah. um, Alexis, I'm getting really blatant with my charity shop chat. Oh, what will you do with that? Me. Sell it, hopefully. <laughs> Who is that? Lex. <laughs> yeah. I have gone that route once or twice, but it backfired once or twice, so I don't anymore. Yeah. I was trying not to rip this apart so I could reuse it, but it's it's past it's past, past reusing now. I think well packed. This is just for a bundle I'm putting together. I ordered a, a connect, which is for those of you that don't know, kind of getting a bit up past it now. The old Xbox 360 connect. So yeah, cool. Thank you. Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That aside, do you want to show more wicker? We've had some other success. You sold a wicker bin, didn't you? Did you? Yeah, although I was, yeah, I mean, it's obviously a, a plant holder as well oh, as a bin. <laughs> I think it's a bin. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether I can even resell these, but I, I like wicker, so I bought them. Of course you can. Um, You've proved you can sell wicker. I bought a little set of three. Isn't the big one part of this one? I think it's slightly different, but I'm going to do that as a little set of three. Well, these have got a little set of three plant holders. Look like pressed flowers on. Yeah. Or grass or whatever they are. They're cool. Yeah, I like those. And then a larger one, which is a different pattern. 
Oh, they've got to go together, surely, haven't they? Don't they yeah, look like... I'm going to do those together and do this. They remind me of Russian dolls. Put them that way up. No. Yeah, but this is a different pattern altogether. <laughs> yeah, they look like they should go. You can't separate them. And I, like had the it, kids. I had the same, what we were just been talking about. Um, the guy that I bought them from, I mean, this was a pound and they were a pound. So it was two pounds altogether. And he said to me, what are you going to do with them? And I said, I'm going to put plants in them, which is not a lie. <laughs> And he said, you're sure you're not going to try and make money out of them? Why and, is that his business anyway? And I said, <laughs> I'm going to put plants in them. So I wasn't lying I did, because, you know, obviously I will to photograph them. <laughs> and I actually might borrow this one for a while because I've sold the one my plant is in now. Um, and then he said, because if you are going to try and sell them, they're not worth any money. <laughs> Is that so, what he said? That's what he said. Well, so, you, your mission maybe, now is to prove him wrong. they're not, but I will try and prove him wrong. <laughs> yeah. But I like them anyway, so, you know, it's win-win. I'll either use them or I'll sell them. Well, I'll tell you, out of the wicker bits you bought today, those are by far, I think, the nicest bits. They are, no, well, this is my favourite, actually. Really? I'm, I'm not keen on that. I like this. There's a special name for this kind of basket, and I can't remember what it is Wicker. Now. No. It's like a sort of ethnic... I can't remember what it's called now. I'll have to go this Google it again. Softer. That but, that stuff's hard. This is yeah, squidgy. So, squidgy. Squidgy wicker. Yeah. Yeah, it's and nice. I, I really I like that. I prefer those other yeah. ones, I'll be honest. And then I paid two pounds on that one. Look into the eyes, not around the eyes. <laughs> it's like the jungle book with the, the Yeah. Snake. Um and then this one I paid a bit more. I paid three pounds on this one. And I really like this actually. Is really cool. Mind you, I like all of it. So, um, okay, yeah. So that's that, and also this one, which is really sweet. Just a little. I don't know what you call it, really. Basket. Like a shopping basket. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like cool. That. Yeah. So that was my finds. Oh, apart from, and this is a keeper. My nice new Kath Kidston mug. Andrew has a mug issue, seriously. And, and this was only 50p, so. How many mugs do we have in this house? Yeah, you keep smashing them though, so they... Not on purpose. <laughs> don't put it out there like I just go around smashing mugs. I don't know. I'm, People I'm, get angry seeing them. I'm suspicious. <laughs> I don't smash your mugs keep on purpose. about how many mugs I've got, and then they suddenly get broken. <laughs> I have broke a lot of wine glasses recently. Yeah. We are losing them at a rapid rate. We need to buy more. Yeah, well, we bought a lovely set of six from a jumble sale. And we were with your sister, Alison. And then the first time they had an outing, Alison broke one. <laughs> and then I think you broke in the next three. Now I've only got two left. Yeah. <laughs> Not on purpose. I just managed to knock them over. And they were really fragile, weren't they? Yeah. So we're, yeah, in need of more wine glasses. Right. Um. Shall I share or should we read some stuffs? Kelly says, have have a look on Pinterest, Andrea. Wicker plates grouped together on walls. I know I have looked at that. I really like that. And if I could get away with it, we'd have that in our living room. But I don't think Nick would let me. Because you I really don't... do not like the whole thing. I don't know what it is. Look of it. It... I love it. And I would just, like, my whole living room would be like that if I could get away with it. What a wicker it. wonderland. Mm. That's what I said your... Um... What's the Instagram name should be? Or no, you said Wicker Wacker, <laughs> Wicker wick Wacker, and then Wicker Wonderland. Anyway, um, Liverpool Delta, hi there, says mugs are my favorite thing to pick up. A lot of people like mugs. Um, um Peter just said, if you're out at a boot, a car boot, what would you do if the people that you're buying from know that you know you from YouTube? I would just carry on as normal. Mm. It's it's entirely up to the seller if they refuse to to sell to me, but I'd just carry on as normal. That's happened actually, hasn't it? At least once I've bought from someone who watches us, yeah. and it just didn't it didn't become an issue. They named the price, and I think I bought it, whatever it was. Yeah, it can be awkward. That hasn't happened very often. We get recognised a fair bit. We we were chatting to a chap today, who's you think was called Steve, and I can't remember. So he might be in the chat. I haven't seen him yet. He quite often is. Um, he was finding some epic stuff today. Um, Lex was saying there, what was that about a challenge? Lex, question stroke challenge. 
Okay, next car boot. Everyone, everyone goes to. We have to tell a massive white lie to get the item. I.e., I'm buying this wicker basket for my pet donkey. As you do, you wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. I know you too well. <laughs> to eat grass out of. Yeah, and Phoebe just said maybe a flower basket. I could see that. I could see like flowers. It's sort of like for gardening, isn't it? When you go and pick your veg from the. Um... Like a truck. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and who was that? Barry was saying that uh, he thinks wicker is just a dust magnet. Mm. It's an issue. Right. Yeah, it's not Shall good I... for you, is it? <laughs> Shall I finish? I'm getting my reactions are kicking off already. Mm. I'm going quite red in the face. Um, a couple more, not quite so bog standard board games. I do like to pick up the Lego ones. I couldn't tell you what value is in this, but. It will probably go into Amazon because it's in lovely, lovely condition. There's quite a few of these. There's a really nice Star Wars, this larger size one, uh, Star Wars one that's worth money. The Harry Potter one that's this size, which I have up there, you may be able to see, uh, which I'm just trying to find a couple of little parts for. It's annoying just to complete it. Um, so, yeah, one of those Lego games. Um, the smaller boxed ones. Um, they're all over eBay and Amazon. They don't seem to have a lot of money. You know, the longer, thinner ones. Yeah. Um, they're okay if you get a few and bundle them, though. I just noticed that, because um, we we're still quite far back in the chat, Karen said, Red Riding Hood basket. <laughs> yeah, I was being an embarrassing mum earlier. I was skipping around the living room. <laughs> to Ellen. Oh, it's like red, little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> she just gave me that look. I missed this. <laughs> Where was I? Sleeping. Uh, I think you were trying to get ready in here. Uh, Retro Cable says, Nick, worth checking dealers. I usually walk right past, but got a vintage audio equip. I got got vintage audio equipment today at the boot sale for £15, worth about 250 Wow, good work. Well, that's it. Not everybody knows exactly what they've got, especially sometimes especially dealers. Yeah. Mel says, wicker wacker euphemism, surely. <laughs> Not at all. How much did you pay for that buzz, says Charlie? I paid five. It's to go into Amazon. I've sold this at Amazon a number of times. Um, although it's wired buzzers, it still goes. Oh, Daisy May says, you looked at our My Little Ponies today. You were a bit, you should have said something. Oh. You should have said hello. Yeah, I remember those. We had I a was actually looking to see if you had any more of the you know more vintage type ones because i have got just like a massive box full of ponies just like yours and i haven't done their hair either <laughs> and that's what keeps putting me off listing them we've got rid of all because, the ponies you know, i've got a massive box of them so i don't want to be buying any more like that so i was looking to see if you had more vintage type ones because i'd have bought those yeah well i'm sure they know what they're doing and oh yeah totally because i said have a look for the boy ponies yeah and that's I, why we had a rummage through the box and i said to you i don't think that that generation had boy ponies i might be wrong but i've never seen them no i haven't um, either but yeah and if you see us next time say hello i don't know <laughs> that's quite funny um we weren't that busy we just said hello <laughs> yeah we've always got time to stop yeah, and say hello we had quite a chat with um steve i'm not sure that, that his name is steve if you're in um let's know <laughs> Yeah, I might have made that up. Right, I'm going to scroll to the end. Um, so we're up to date, hopefully. Dave's in. Hi, Dave. Okay. Um, Kelly says, Andrea, Nick's got his tat cave. You need a she shed. It's only fair. Oh, if our garden was big enough, I'd have a she shed. We've got a really small garden. Yeah, we've got a strange plot of land here. It's quite mm. wide at the front and then... We're the only garden in this whole road that, that compensates for the bend in the road. So our back garden yeah. goes like that to a point. We've got a tiny little shed in the little point of our yeah. garden. It kind of makes up for it on the side of the house, but then that's useless. It's kind of wasted. Big of the house. chunk of land down the side as as the garden goes wide to the front and then yeah. a big front, which is also pretty useless. Yeah, and also we've got like, um, we didn't put the extension on, but there is an extension on the back, like a sunroom, which is my office, which is nice. So I kind of do have my own she shed, really. Yeah. It's um, nice and sunny in there. 
and I can in I've got we've got double opening doors I, in the summer I can open them up so it kind of is a she shed but um yeah so it, it just takes up most of the garden doesn't it and you've just got a little yes a tiny space indeed you can put ponies in your wicker baskets says Could do. Christian yes, quite right oh somebody at the hitching boot sale this morning had a Fortnum and Mason basket um like a ham um picnic hamper basket full of Thai beanies and I started looking at the Thai beanies and then she says oh 50p each and I said I'm more interested in your basket are you selling that she went no. oh <laughs> I missed that I didn't yeah. see that um someone was saying there the Liverpool Delta I find parting out the small Lego ball games is more profitable some of them have a lot of plates which can fetch good money cool yep i've done plenty of parting out lego in my time um if people this is char bar if people are bothered about us reselling, they then they should do it make some money as far as i can see they got the money they wanted and so will we yeah exactly and a lot of people even if you tell them what you do they won't have an issue but we tend not to because we've come up against you know issues with it yeah only once or twice so i know it's a tricky one yeah. yeah sometimes you get you go down a rabbit hole of making something up and then they start asking you questions about your six <laughs> daughters you might have and you're like oh uh, yeah it's a bit awkward anyway yeah, um lisa's in she says what did i miss well to sum it up lisa you missed i sold that for 80 pounds <laughs> You're so just that's, that's your so favorite chuffed. sale of the year, and I'm I think. so chuffed. Even Trump's selling my little chair for forty-five pounds to this week. Mm. So, um, yeah. I'll finish the board the board games um, that I put out to show. There are others, but this was quite nice only because it's sealed. I don't think it's worth a great deal on its own normally, um, but sealed. Although frustratingly, where yeah. they've taken the price off. You may see if I get it in the light. There you go. So I doubt I'd be okay to send that into Amazon as new because they would not accept that as being new. Um, but it's still quite nice. Um, did you um, read this? Gently Benevolent says, which parts are you missing from your Harry Potter Lego game? I have parted a few into my personal Lego collection, so most likely have the parts you need. Um, not many now. I think all I'm missing... I'll, I'll tell you because I've just listed a job lot of Lego and I went through it and found the few bits, most of the few bits I needed. Um, I believe all I'm missing now are <laughs> that's what's that part number? It's a little black barrel. Uh, 306226. 306226, which is a little black one of these for some reason i'm missing five of those and there's only went well the 16 the set for, but for some reason yeah look, they're like that and yeah nick has reading glasses so, but he doesn't know where they are <laughs> <laughs> they're somewhere in this mess um if you do have them i will happily uh pin you some money on paypal if you want to ship me them because i i was getting fed up waiting to sell this yeah. So I was going to order some anyway. Um, so that would be cool. If you message me on Facebook's probably best. Yeah. Um, PM me on our Adventures in Reselling page. Uh, and we'll sort something out. Yeah. Oh, this. I haven't had a chance to look this up. Took a chance on this. I think it was two Can you scroll down, pounds? We often miss, miss super chats or you miss people saying, you're not screen sharing. <laughs> oh, God. Well, then you guys in when I was, I was, I did a stream again where I was doing some research uh, into toys from our childhoods. I don't know who it was that messaged us on eBay, but I was at my nan's cooking her dinner. And then this message came from an eBay and I looked at it and it said, you're not screen sharing. And I was like, what? <laughs> Me. what i did was i forgot to <laughs> click onto screen share so you guys <coughs> my audience could see what i was talking about as i was looking into toys so i thought i i the, the window on my computer was in ebay and i was happily searching and getting all excited about yo-yos and what have you 
and the chat was just going nuts going you're not screen sharing and people were super chatting just to get my attention and normally i dip in and out but for, of course because i wasn't screen sharing i didn't even look so embarrassed um yeah i haven't oh yeah Kay says yeah it was so funny yes says sue seen it we were all there i i was mortified it was like I, how long was i doing that Just trying like, to like about 10 minutes of oh guys look at this and everyone's like i can't see it no and i the can't watch it back it's also because oh. you don't think anyone can see you while you're screen sharing so you're just La -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Jason said, that, well, I'm glad I entertained you all at my own expe <laughs> expense. <coughs> Dust is getting down my throat today. Yeah. yeah, we picked this up. Do you remember what we paid on this? Nine. I seem to think it was two. Yeah, actually, that does ring a bell. Um, what it is, it's, I've not had this before, but it looked really quite nice. Heroes and Villains yeah. chess set. Um, if anyone's got an eBay page open, can you see if it's worth anything for me? Um, it's got to be worth a little bit because it's really quite intricate. If you check out all of the figures in here, so it's called Heroes and Villains. So I, I'm assuming one is Heroes side, one is Villains side. Yeah, you got Ursula. That would make sense. Uh, the Queen from Snow White, Villains, and then you got Mickey Mouse. And we were just talking about the snake. What's his name? Car. Yeah, from Jungle Book. Car from Jungle Book here. Yeah, uh, yeah Mickey. It's really nice. He's Beauty and the Beast. Uh, the Beast. Yeah. Lion King, Simba. Is he meant to be a villain? Because he's not really, is he? I don't know if he's a goodie or a baddie. Mm. But yeah, I quite liked it. I think, I assume that's the board underneath. Mm. I don't want to get that out. It is lovely. I couldn't leave it behind for a couple of pounds. So, um, 40 pounds for the chess set says Money Mental. Thanks wow. for that. Okay. If that if you can, then that's great. If we can achieve and then that, Charlie's then I'll be about sixty. About sixty. Oh, it's going up. <laughs> Any more takers for a chess set? <laughs> um, yeah. And Mike says between thirty-four to forty-five pounds. Between thirty-four to forty-five. Okay, so yeah, good. That was a pretty safe punt then. Um, oh, and the. the the bundle of board games I shared earlier that we got from lovely lady and we scraped together the rest of our money. It also included this. Um, so my calculations that I did when I wrote out um, £120 before fees actually included this one, which is quite nice. And that's going to go into Amazon. This is Risk, but it's the Dalek Invasion of Earth version. Which you quite like the look of. Well, Andrew was risk, saying to the lady, "Risk bores me to tears, but uh, Doctor Who risk, I could probably get into." But why? <laughs> because it, it'll be exactly the same game with the same yeah, mechanics. All the soldiers and all that business just bore me. You just but, have Daleks you know, instead of soldiers. Yeah, exactly, but you know, you, you can be like Doctor Who or. or so this may be a way of getting Andrew to play Risk with Maybe. me. You never know. Normally, it's me and a couple of my brother-in-laws. Says it includes a free top trumps card. It probably doesn't anymore. Just one card? What are you going to do with one card? You can't play top trumps with one card. Well, Lisa's just given us an update um, on her foster babies. Black yes. Grace has had a very upset time but seems better tonight. And Maisie has decided that she loves the kitchen <laughs> and helps with the washing up. Oh, Oh, you know, don't you love it when you open a board game and you discover it's never been played? Oh, yeah. That adds a chunk of value to something yeah, so like this. Yeah, so I can't this. play it now. No, I doubt we'll be opening this up. Oh, look at the little TARDIS. Oh, look at that. The little TARDIS. I like that. Are they just, is it all Daleks in different colours? It is, isn't they it? are small, medium and large Daleks by the look of it. That is so cool. So this has never been used. Yeah. Is oh yeah, the dice. Oh, the oh, dice. Oh, I thought the dice it. were missing then. There's a dice. Wow. Yeah, I mean the box isn't brand new, it's a bit it has got a bit of shelf wear. But... Yep. Oops. Yeah. I love it when you open up a board game. For the, for the <laughs> Charlie other... says a risk Doctor Who or not was still boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Risk is a great fun game. Anyone in the chat with me on this? I want the TARDIS. It's <laughs> tiny. What are we going to do with that? It's like, um, Phoebe right. says Ads is going to want that, Nick. <laughs> Ads has probably already got this. He's probably. a proper Doctor Who geek. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's quite a good one. I'm getting a whiff of oh, smokiness off that. Did you get can that? It just excite people because you smelled it. <laughs> it's been a long um, time since you sniffed something. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> right, moving on swiftly. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got 15 minutes. Um, I alluded to the fact earlier that the what I think was the best pickup of the day. I love those board games. Um, I, I was quite excited by that find, and that was good. But earlier on, we went to the first one. It was a bit of a washout, as you will see in the vlog once I've edited that. But we, because of the BBC saying it wasn't raining back here in Hitchin, we went back to the Hitchin one. It's a tiny little boot sale, very hit and miss. Quite often I come away with nothing from Hitchin because it can be as low as like five or ten stalls there. It was only probably 10 stalls at Hitchin today, wasn't there? Oh, our, na our neighbours are looking. Hello. Lex says, I love Doctor Who. I've I've touched Matt Smith's console. <laughs> oh, check you out, Lex. Um, but we went to Hitchin. It was very small and wet and horrible, wasn't it? And cold and windy. But walked up to a table and there was a crate of media. We could, So I always go and have a look peeked in and instantly saw well the ones that jumped out were these ones i could see these it was all side on in a box it was like oh hello and there was all of this stack here they must and, wonder why on earth we do i think they come and look at us every week they're, they're like our crazy neighbors are doing weird things again yeah they, they point and stare <laughs> anyway all of this stack and all of this stack and they're all audiobooks these are all Agatha Christie, really nice. These all have some value as well. So I don't know how many, about 40 odd Agatha Christie ones. And all bar one Harry Potter CD audiobooks. So anyway, I, I looked at it and then I said to the lady, how much are your CD audiobooks? And she said, oh, I don't know. Make me an offer and I'll probably say yes, didn't she? Yeah. And that's a weird moment. And then I said, I don't know. I'm thinking about buying all of it. And then she went, oh, 20 quid. And I was like, OK. And as she was saying that, a woman reached in and started pulling out the Harry Potter ones. And I was like, sorry, I just bought all of those. So that was a perfect moment of timing because they it wouldn't was, have stayed yeah. on the stool for very long. These are when we were chatting to that chap today, oh, you reckon. Here we go. <clears throat> um. Stephen Jones, the Luton reseller, says, Nick, I was going to sell at the Hitchin car boot. Um, we was ready to go in and it started raining, I'm assuming that says. So we gave it a miss and looked around the Milton Keynes well, car boot. I don't boot. think that's who that's we were... not the same Steve, but I'm sure the other guy's called Steve as well. Oh, the other last guy... time we mixed him up with that Steve. And then, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> confusing, but I think the other guy's called Steve as well. But hello, Stephen. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking I know who this is, but I, yeah, I yeah, get confused. I know who it is now. Um, and also Margaret's in and so is Heather. So hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. Harry Potter audiobooks. I was, when, I, when we were chatting to Steve, he was saying that he thinks... Oh, and Gavin's in as well. He thinks Hi, these... Gavin. Hi, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks these have dropped in value a bit, but... Um, I worked out it, it was um, less than 50 pence each I was paying on these. So we're going to do well. So don't pass them by. The cassette ones, I, I don't bother looking at anymore. But CD are nice. So we've got Prisoner of Azkaban, Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, the first three, really lovely. The condition is immaculate on these as well. And we were, we decided we were missing one, didn't we? It's Half Blood. Mm. Steve says, who's in charge of communication with the neighbours? Shell is in my house. Both divorces either side of me. They hate me just for being a man. <laughs> um, I don't I, in charge of, but you're probably a bit more. I'm, more, I'm the more social out of us two. Yeah, I'm a bit more withdrawn, but I'm, I'm all right once I get to know people. Joan next door I have a chat with. Yeah, lovely old lady that side. Yeah, I do say hello to people and have a chat with people, but you go and introduce yourself to people when we don't know, when new people move in or whatever, and I just follow on and go, oh. <laughs> I try. It's not my comfort zone, introducing myself to people. 
In fact, it's like comfort zone here. That's way outside. Yeah. We upset that neighbour though, didn't we? Miss oh, Lane. don't go into that. Have we got any? Caused her to put a seven foot fence up. <laughs> See, now everyone's going to want to know what we did. I don't know. I don't know. We didn't did really it. do anything. It was a big misunderstanding. <laughs> I don't know. Their minds will be racing as to what we did to offend yeah, them. We didn't. I don't know what we did to offend her, to be fair. We had a bit of a party. Lots and lots of alcohol was drunk. Oh, yeah. And then we complained loudly about her. Her noisy her, son. Oh, well, he we used to have a three foot fence. Now you've put it out there. And um, he used to get a chair when he was about three or whatever, and just stand and lean on the fence and just shout at us. And then he used to throw stuff at Monty, and he used to get the hose pipe and soak my washing when it was out. And yeah, it was just really annoying. And we loudly. So we had a rant. Basically, we got drunk with some friends. And the next minute, you know, she's put up a seven foot fence. <laughs> and we were, yeah, we were out in the back garden with these friends. And a lot of beer and wine was drunk. And we were sat around that chimney we used to have. And me and uh, Martin, it was, we had this thing going with like six foot flames out of it anyway. And we sat there and ranted Fine about bad. our neighbor's son. And we're pretty sure she, she heard it. Yeah, her windows because were open. Because not long after, she literally put a seven-foot fence up, mm. which I don't think you're allowed to do without planning permission. But we didn't complain because it and meant it we, was, didn't, we yeah. didn't have to put up with the little boy anymore. Yeah, that's true. And also, it was on our side, um, and she didn't ask permission. She just told us it was happening. Yeah, that and, side um, is also our fence. So we took down our three-foot fence and gained a bit of garden. <laughs> this is how, yeah, let's go into this. I had put up a fence only about a year before this yeah, incident. I know. I'd done it all myself, concreted all the posts in, did the whole thing, the full length of our garden. Yeah, well, we used to have she, a really, we used to have some lovely neighbours and they had really nice bushes and trees all the way along the, um, you know, sort of the border between hers and ours and our garden. Um, so you couldn't see into either garden anyway. And it was all pretty and, you know, it was lovely. And then she, when, when she moved in, she just stripped everything out, didn't she? So yeah. suddenly we just had this three foot fence and you could just see into her garden. Well, it was a wire mesh. It was wire mesh. So you could see what too. No, well, no, when we put our new yeah. fence Yeah, well, up. after that, I put a fence up. Anyway, yeah. so she took out all of the shrubbery, all of the trees, and then decided to erect this massive, like, Berlin wall on her mm -hmm. side of our fence. And they had to leave a fair gap in order to, to cement the posts in. <laughs> And put this massive fence up so i just went and took mine down and i gained about six inches the entire length of our garden yeah it was, it, it was a it was a bizarre thing it was a we, bonus all round, really we do speak to the lady quite often and it we're civil but it's always yeah. been a little bit tense yeah it was um, a weird one when i went to go and get a package that she'd taken in she's for always us. taken in packages and then for she us she opened the door and she went hello how are you I was like, oh, well, okay, thank you. How are you? <laughs> and that was all a bit weird because she, normally she's a bit sort of just ignores us or a bit grumpy. Anyway. So anyway, yeah. That's Nobody our, that's needed our to know any of that. That's our nightmare neighbours story. Nobody is, needed um, to know any of that. As Stu says. Uh, Mel says, I'd love a seven-foot fence around the entire circumference of our property. Oh, it's jumped. Hold on. Of my property. Home is my sanctuary and people need to, to bigger off. <laughs> Yeah, it can be difficult because we, we're really, you know, we're friendly with Joan next door. She's a lot older than us. She's retired. And she, she often has lots of friends in her garden. And it's it's awkward because you feel like you can't kind of go out in the garden because they're all, you know, she's got like a three foot fence. And, you know, you feel like they can see everything you're doing and, you you know, you can hear every word of their conversation. <laughs> and, it you yeah. know, as lovely as she is, it doesn't feel very private, does it? Uh, Super K wishes he'd gained six inches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was I was really happy the day I took down the fence that I'd, I'd erected and we'd gained. <laughs> I'd gained. Um, I've worked it out out in square footage. How be how much our garden grown because she'd if she'd have just come and spoken to us, I'd have probably agreed to taking mine up and her putting it along the border. But anyway, why are we still talking about a fence? Know. I don't know. Right, one, one more sharing. <laughs> Oh yeah. Steve says, sorry guys, I started them off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me scratch it. Yeah. So part of that, so these are really nice. Um probably we'll all go to Amazon, maybe not, don't know. Um 
20 pound for everything remember sib says a bolo is a series of unfortunate events complete 53 cd audio books can go for 50 plus nice yeah so these as i was saying just look at the volume all agatha christie well we found one or two odd bits that weren't didn't we yeah william shakespeare's in there romeo and juliet which which yeah, has some Ellen good value on Amazon because it's a curriculum yeah, book. Ellen could have done with that a few weeks back. Yeah, she was studying that for. Yeah. We, so, we, we watched the film instead. <laughs> so I reckon about five pounds average on all of these. And there's, what did I say, 40 odd of those. And then the Potter ones, I'm not sure what they go for now, but I'm sure you guys have had these before. You'll know there's, there's good value in them. So yeah. net income wise, that was probably our, our best pickup, I think. It's just so many. Um, oh, I picked up these. This was the first thing we picked up this morning, wasn't it? And we nearly, I nearly went for a massive, massive Thomas bundle or someone. And if I had, um, it would have been all the money I had left. And at that point, I would have just come home and quit because it would have been huge bulk. So I'm so glad we didn't because it went, meant we went on and got this deal, which is much better. And then ended up going on to the other one as well. So all I ended up buying off the guy was the two box Trackmaster sets he had. So there's this one, which is doesn't really have a name, but it's that one. And this one, which is called the Thomas Avalanche Escape. Can you see that? Um, he had loads of Thomas stuff. The rest of the Thomas stuff that we started trying to negotiate a deal on was all take and play. I reckon he had every take and play set ever made. Mm. There was 20 he, plus sets. He really seriously considered that. but yeah, yeah, I reckon I could have got it all for 50. Um, it sounds a lot, but it was so nice. They were in really good condition. They all had their, their vehicles, trains. Mm. Um, but it was just too much bulk. So I left it, thankfully. Um, so that's all I bought of him. Oh, I've got a little bit of Duplo. I haven't even looked in this yet. I just peeked in to see it was Duplo. Because quite often, if you see these, it's like, ooh, Duplo. Always have a quick rummage because quite often it's been filled with mega blocks, which is disappointing. But this, at least on the surface, is Duplo. No, it's Duplo. It's like Duplo right to the bottom. So that was nice, and that was a pound for a good couple of kilos of Duplo. Um, oh, and I bought about my body weight in Nerf. It's not, it's not a haul of mine without a Nerf gun no. or two. And I have to be the Nerf guarder because every single time you fill your bag with Nerf, some, you put your bag down to look at another stall and somebody's rummaging through it every single time. Yeah, we went in the mini nuts. so we didn't take trolleys. So my my um, issues I have, my tendons are really flowing up now. Mm. A lot of pain. Um, yeah, it's, it's not... Do I want to show that? A&E with Nick. <laughs> nothing, nothing new in here. You've seen it all before, but I did get a, did get a whopper. Mm. Hey. Look, we've, we've established tonight that size doesn't matter. Size does matter. Check this out. So I'll see if it's loaded. I won't shoot you in the head. Oh, nothing. Shoot the neighbours. So yeah, is this? I can't remember these long strikes. Yeah, long strike. I have a long strike down there that I got when I oh, went yeah. to stay with Tom. I think that's yeah. long strike. So yeah, that and loads more, just tons of it. Can you scroll down in the chat, please. Mm. Sorry if we're missing comments and stuff. Um, yeah, so loads and loads in here. Um, I've got a really nice bundle of magazines, including that one, which I think is what's Everybody's that? Everybody's saying, what Chandria's head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're never going to live that down. Yeah, so loads of magazines, including that, which I think is the 32, is it? Uh, it's always nice. A big stack of the basic little uh, 10 shot magazines. Um, a few of the mega guns. These take the bigger red. Oh, there's a bullet in it. The bigger red bullets. Oh, did you know. find any in Poundland? You didn't in the end, did you? No. Uh, Hang on, what's going on here? Oh! oh. <laughs> I honestly, <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to cock it. You're trying to do what? Cock it, <laughs> cock it. 
They're great. No, I was trying to shoot me, people. Help. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? I think it's these ones that whistle as well. Anyway, yeah. I love a bit of nerf. <laughs> Stu says... It went off in my hand. Stu said, Nick's got loads of magazines and a long one. Fnarf, fnarf. <laughs> oh, the innuendo keeps coming. Oh, I'll tell you what I will share. I think we'll probably draw a line under it shortly. Um, yeah, because we're it's nine o'clock. But I'll share this if I can get to it. <laughs> and I've got a way um, through Nerf. <laughs> Nerf says, "Oh my word, I'm watching Spousal Abuse live." <laughs> There's no, but don't start rumours like this, right? There's rumours going around about me stealing. But I mean, Carla brought up me stealing men's old man's shoes the other day. <laughs> How does this not go away? And me selling um, ripped board games, boards, you know. Just how rumours start. Don't do it, people. Yeah, anyway. Ooh. Oh, oh nearly went. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what we had today was just Ikea bags. Oh, it's our hero moment. Um, keep your eyes peeled when you're at the car beat sales for... Um, what? What was this? Generally, you cock it first and then shoot it. <laughs> Oh, don't start. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, keep your eyes peeled at Car Boot Sales for packaging supplies. I've, I'm amazed how many times I've bought really cheap packaging supplies at the Car Boot Sale. I've got, I don't know how many, 100 odd of these really handy, the small size ones. These aren't even big enough for DVD, but they're super, super handy. Uh, and I've got 100 of those for, well, roughly 100, maybe more. I'm not sure. For, what did I pay? Two, two pounds, I think. But anyway, um, I've got also got this, which is Guitar Hero Live PS4. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, For a minute there, I thought there wasn't a disc in it. <laughs> no, I checked. Always check discs are in, guys. Yeah. And it, it comes with two of the wireless guitars, which are there. Like so. Uh huh, uh huh. And I checked the double guitar pack on Amazon. Uh, it goes for some pretty good money. So I may just send that in. What's that game in there? Oh, there's another board game. Bullseye. So, yeah, that was good. Margaret says she ships jewellery in those sort of envelopes all the time. Yeah, they're really handy, aren't they? Really cool. So I was pleased to see those. Size A, apparently, according to that. Right, duck. Right, there's stuff everywhere, but we'll probably uh, leave it at that, I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, just piles of books and stuff. So, um, I think we said last week that we were hoping to get Martin from Habu back on the channel on Monday. It's not happening on Monday. There's some football game going on. Is it? Is it football? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, so the England game's on, obviously, so... It, too much going on yeah, so, so we wednesday wednesday but we haven't decided on our time yet yeah we're hoping on wednesday um tuesday is touch up day it's back on my channel um so here is taking a bit of time out from youtube i think they didn't do their friday did they yeah he's in he's in the fortnight um <laughs> he's, in, he's in fortnight rehab guys <laughs> fortnight. no he's not he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's full-on addiction um so tom has kindly said that he's going to step in and, and hang out with me so looking forward to that on Tuesday, regular time, my channel. And if I can get time to edit it, there will be another car boot sale hunting vlog coming out of us finding this lot. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan. And you've got a video to come yeah, up. Yeah, and there's a couple of videos I need to do that I've promised now. I said I was going to do one on measuring clothing, but last week I was just really in the zone of listing stuff, so I didn't have time to do a video. Well, it paid yeah. off. You had one of your better I know, weeks had a great week. by a long way. Yeah. It paid off big time for mm -hmm. you. So, yeah, really hope uh, you guys are doing well with sales. I know it's been tough for a lot of people recently. Ours have been yo-yoing. We've had some shocking days and some amazing days, but it's been really up and down. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can all see a bit of consistency moving forward. Um, 
Oh, thank you, David. We've had a super chat from David M. Thank you, David M. You, you are far too kind. Um, thanks for the super chat, David. There's no messages, I know. No, there's no message, but okay. thank you. Very much appreciated. Hope you're well. Lex says, yay, and Andrea video. We watched on our big telly. On our big telly. We watched you, Lex, uh, being interviewed by Caroline and Phil. Are we allowed to send him about know. that? I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's kind of, give, kind of giving it away Probably now, anyway. Not. And then um, they made a, a follow-up video where they were where they went to Bridge End and they wandered around the town. Yeah, I love the bit at the beginning where they were going, Lex. <laughs> yeah, they're driving. In, over I don't know if you've seen that yet, Lex. I don't want to spoil it. But as they're driving into Bridge End, there's this massive arrow on the seat. Going, this is Lex as, we, as, as they drive past, yeah. which is odd. Amusing, but odd. Yeah, we enjoyed that. Okay. Uh, hi, Will, who is watching from West Midlands. How are you doing? Simon says, best best day all month today. Yeah, so yeah, things yeah, are picking good. up, hopefully. Uh, Karen's having slow sales. A lot of people are, Karen. I don't know what's going on with eBay. Lisa did a craft sale yesterday, made a few quid, but not much. Yeah, Peter enjoyed that video with Lex. I loved how uh, the video Caroline and Phil did. <laughs> Lex said, yeah, they were stalking me. <laughs> Stalk. Okay, I loved when they were when they did the chat with you and they were. Uh, it was Phil was wandering yeah, so around with another camera. Another, yeah, that and was then really they clever. edited that, that in. Yeah, it looked like some cool hip nineties interview where they cut away to kind of a shaky cam. <laughs> shaky, it's <cam>. good. <laughs> yeah. Right, are we wrapping up? Are we done? I think we are. Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking with us for an hour. Crazy people. I've got some football highlights to bore you with. No. <laughs> I I was saying this the other day. I watch hardly any sport. World Cup and Olympics is kind of as far as I go with sport. You don't have to endure much. You were enjoying the little men running around kicking the white thing the other night. I really wasn't. No? I really wasn't. I don't mind the England game. Well, tomorrow there's an England game on. Yeah. Should we watch that together? Yeah. I don't, okay. I don't mind that because I feel a bit more invested in it. Yeah. Any Before we go, uh, tips for World Cup. I, I If I was a betting man, which I'm not, I would put a sneaky bet on Iceland. I think they could be a, a, a complete shocker. I'm probably completely wrong. Uh, but apart from that, uh, I haven't seen Brazil play for a long time, but they're always in with a shout. Um, yeah. Lisa says that Grace and Maisie send both licks and meows. Okay. I'd return it, but um, it might be a bit fairy to lick them. But <laughs> Lex is rating Germany. But that's fair. They looked good. Yeah. Yeah. Belgium, interesting. Mexico, they looked good. It was Mexico, Germany I was watching earlier. Mm. Uh, some highlights. Mexico, Portugal. I, I love backing an outsider, you see, which is why I would put a sneaky bet on Iceland just for the hell of it. Mm. They probably don't stand a, a cat's chance in hell. Well, Adrian says, yay, Iceland. Spain are very good, always. <laughs> this is, I don't know, Grace would be Brazil. up from Andrea. <laughs> Wales, yeah, come on, Wales, Lex. Don't think they're actually in it. <laughs> Funnily enough. Oh, they're not, I don't know. I've no idea. Are they? They're not. There was something on the on the TV though that people in Scotland are up in arms because like um, the shops were selling England flags. Oh, in Wales? In, no, in Scotland. Oh, in Scotland. Sorry. For the um, for the football, and they're like, it's Scotland. <laughs> we don't want to buy England flags, thanks. Saudi Arabia. I think I was watching them, and they were they were not good. Not good. No, was it? No, who was it we were watching? <laughs> Elaine says, out of Mongolia, yeah. That's that's who I've got a bet on, Elaine. <laughs> okay. Hubby had a free bet on William Hill the other day. He used it and won £250. Oh, Ooh. That's good. Awesome. Sub is not a football fan, but it's the World Cup. Exactly. I don't follow football most of the time. I am clueless when it comes to league football. But World Cup, it's just, I don't know, I love the event of it. The fact that you get these really bizarre pair-ups and matches and yeah. I'm always rooting for the underdog. 
Um, apparently, so here's just gone live on um, his other channel, playing Fortnite. So say hello to them for me because um, they've gone a wall, and um, I miss them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, we're going to wrap up. I don't know how we've got on to waffling about football. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it means the world to us. We thoroughly enjoy coming on and, and passing some time with you on a Sunday. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Uh, we certainly enjoyed finding it all today. And, yeah, we'll speak to you guys soon. Yeah, have a great week, everyone. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.